Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Lines of Symmetry. Today we're going to be looking at what a line of symmetry is, how to find how many lines of symmetry are in e each figure, and we'll also be identifying uh, different types of lines of symmetry. So let's begin by starting out with what a line of symmetry is. A line of symmetry creates two congruent pieces. Here I have a rectangle. I want to think of my line of symmetry as making a fold. When I make the fold, the two sides need to come together exactly. I can have no overlapping. So here I can make a line of symmetry going from top to bottom. If I fold that, it will create two pieces and I can make sure those pieces come together exactly. They do. So each of those pieces that were created are the same size and same shape, which makes them congruent. Here I have another example using the same rectangle. I noticed that I could also make a line of symmetry going from side to side. That would make the top and the bottom fold together. So here's the two pieces that that would create. And I can just make sure that they meet and do not overlap. And they do. If I were to try to make a line of symmetry going from the diagonals here, I noticed that they would make pieces that are very similar looking, but they would not meet without overlapping. So they would not be the definition for a line of symmetry. I have an example here of a trapezoid. And if I was to try to make the line of symmetry going across by folding, I would notice that I would not have two smaller shapes that would be the exact same size, even though they would be the same shape. But if I am making my line of symmetry or my fold from top to bottom, I do have two shapes that are the exact same size and shape. Now, although this one might be difficult to see, I could just flip it around because I'm going to be folding and I can see that they do meet up exactly. Same as with the rectangle, if I was to try to go diagonally, these would not make the same exact size of shape, so that would not work. So let's talk about the different types. We have vertical symmetry, where my fold is going to be top to bottom. We have horizontal symmetry, where my fold is going to be from side to side. And then we have diagonal symmetry where I could do diagonal either direction. Now that we're more familiar with types of symmetry, we are going to look at how many lines of symmetry does a figure have. So I have an example here of this figure. I'm going to go ahead and count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a hexagon but it is not a regular hexagon. Here I have another shape, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is a hexagon as well, but this one is a regular hexagon. Remember, a regular polygon has all the side lengths being the same and all the angle measures being the same. Now that I've identified them, I'm gonna to start to look for the lines of symmetry. I notice if I was to try to go across making a horizontal line of symmetry that this would create two different shapes. I would create a rectangle down here and up here I would create um, a smaller version of this hexagon. So that's not going to work because they are not the same size, uh, same shape. If I was to go diagonally here, the same issue, I would create two different shapes. So the only line of symmetry in this not regular hexagon is going to be this vertical line of symmetry. On this regular hexagon, I noticed that I could make that cut, or I'm sorry, I could make that fold going from top to bottom here, the vertical line of symmetry fold. I'm going to be making a one, two, three, four, five. So I will make two pentagons that will be the exact same size and shape. Or I could fold my hexagon uh, horizontally, and that is going to make one, two, three, four. So it would make two trapezoids that are the same size, same shape. I also have the diagonal here. This is the kind of the same thing as the last fold that I just did. It's just in a different place because this would make two trapezoids the same size, same shape. Same thing here, two trapezoids, same size, same shape. 
here I have those two hexagons, same size, same shape. And the same thing here, two hexagons, same size, same shape. So let's go back and count how many lines of symmetry that was. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you may have noticed that when there is not a regular polygon and you're trying to find the lines of symmetry, or any figure um, here that is not a regular polygon, so any figure, it just depends on the figure. You're gonna have to try to fold it in your mind to see which way it would work. For the regular hexagon, there are six sides to this regular hexagon and there were six lines of symmetry. So for a regular hexagon, it is the same as the number of sides. Let's recap. Symmetry is when a shape can be divided into two equal pieces that are congruent, meaning they're the exact same shape and size. For a regular polygon, the number of sides will be the same as the number of lines of symmetry. For example, a square has four sides and four lines of symmetry. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time!